what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am trying trying to find a house for the creator sims challenge family that i made uh when i made them i thought to myself why not do a let's play because even though i've been playing the sims for years for whatever odd reason i have never really like focused on like aspirations I just picked something random and then like I mainly focused on the careers if that makes sense but like I've been watching a lot of sims videos and people have been talking about aspirations and I was like aspiration what are aspirations and I honestly felt like so silly <laughs> and so I looked into it and I was like bruh why have I never like done this properly and so I I wasn't bored right but I like looking up stuff to do uh, so I looked up like challenges I could do and then I found the, a creator sim challenge and someone listed out like 44, 44 ideas and so like you know I'm gonna do all of them I might not do a let's play with all of them but I, I was like I can do the let's play with this five and then I also created a grandmother I mean she's not really their grandmother but I created an elderly woman and I created a dog for them I in my head I know it's eight people or eight characters like that's the maximum amount of sims and i don't know how i was calculating but but i was like i can only do five from the challenge and then an adult or an elder person because i want them to be teenagers and then i want a pet i don't know why i didn't realize that was seven instead of eight but like whatever okay so what i did here i don't know where i got this idea from maybe just from watching from watching all those design a house all those renovation shows and how in most houses up um, in the west they have like sections where they put heating and so that's not really what i was going for but i wanted the rooms to be the same sizes so that's why i put the demarcation in the middle so i'm decorating this room for the barbie sim because i didn't really know who else would like love dogs <laughs> apart from like i mean all of them love dogs right but i didn't know whose quote-unquote dog it would be if not like the barbie sim so yeah i don't know why i didn't create windows first like don't don't ask me because i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's going on with that spaceship um light but like let's let's just ignore it i'm not the best at creating house if you watch my video my short video of building this house i didn't show all this i just showed the outside i actually improved i decided to watch a lot of videos just so i could improve because i didn't want to mess up since i'm going to be using this house for a long time hopefully because i have a problem with playing a sims family and then creating another sims family and like i'm abandoning one so hopefully i'm going to be using this house for a long time so i really wanted to put my time and energy into it and although all those popular simmers I mean, yeah might not see this <laughs> i still wanted to make them proud you know make myself proud from the fact that i watch their videos to learn how to design and stuff like that so if the house isn't all that nice i'm sorry i'm gonna blame it and i mean like the interior i'm gonna blame it on the sims not having all that nice um wallpaper i was honestly confused about what to do with the wallpaper uh, i was perplexed because my mom is an interior designer i don't want to show her this house because i don't know i feel like i feel like she would be like nadia shemaya what what is this but i think actually i'm gonna show her i'm gonna show her i hope i hope she likes it yeah so i know she deals with like wallpapers and stuff obviously and i've seen her wait side note i didn't really know how to use the control tools so that's another thing that messed me up i couldn't size anything up or down or really change the direction like that i don't even think i was using bb.move objects on at this point so it wasn't going so well for me yeah so the wallpaper i know it's not it's not really a match i don't know what theme i was going for for the inside of the house apart from like the blue and light brown theme like i didn't know what theme theme I wanted I don't know I just mixed and matched different things but kind of like made them match at the same time another thing I did not know is that if you go into the world 
if you're not like moving a family in if you just want to edit a house in the in the world you have unlimited amount of money so i kept having to do the mother load until my laptop was like or my game i guess was like no it literally didn't allow me to do it anymore and i know it was probably just a glitch and so i was like okay i guess i'm done for the day and then i close the game i don't think it looks bad i was really confused what to do with the table because it just felt like randomly placed and i was really trying to imagine people's living room slash kitchen slash dining when it's an open space and i don't know why i didn't just go on pinterest but i couldn't really imagine and imagine anything this i really like the doors and the windows but yeah that that looks terrible but i did i didn't really know what i was doing like let me just put it like that i don't know why i didn't just like look at the houses around right i don't know what i was thinking like let me just put it like that i think the floor is nice the wooding on the floor is nice uh my dad is an art oh my god this is so embarrassing my dad's an architect and he's also into plumbing and my mom is an interior designer if i show them this how are they gonna feel but um he always says i mean you can't really control the door i don't think but there's a way that a door should open so that it gives privacy so like that door downstairs it shouldn't open to see the toilet it should open to see the wall first just in case like someone is there if that makes sense so upstairs i made two I made a bathroom and I made a toilet because they're gonna be six people living in this house and five girls and the sims are just ridiculous like it doesn't matter if your sisters if one of them is having a bath nobody wants to be in there so just in case someone needed to use or needs to use the toilet there's there are two available and there are three in the house available and as you can see I also did two baths I should probably change that bath to a shower slash bath but like I, I haven't done that and it's been days so yeah i should probably do that so i know i'm not bad at like designing because one random day i decided to use my dad's laptop i opened autocad which is what he uses to like design stuff <laughs> floor plans floor plans that's the word i opened autocad and i designed like my dream bedroom and i was so proud of myself and i showed it to him and he was like this is actually really really good who taught you and i was like nobody taught me i just figured it out and he was actually like proud of me so i know i'm not terrible i i i'll just blame it on the sims so this on the left hand side is the popular girl's room that's why i gave her like a vanity generic popular girl if her vanity i'm going for a pink theme um pink slash shiny slash white theme and on the left is the generic sports girls sporty girls room except i forgot that's what it was meant to be and i was designing it for the barbie so i'm gonna end up changing that to, at the end of the video but that's whose room is up there there's no animosity between any of the sisters in my head obviously they fight like sisters do but like they're all friends yeah yeah and as you can see it's the same room size i did the same thing putting that little section in the middle and it's not like sporty girl can like like purple or whatever like i play sports and i like purple but it's just like a generic look oh my god this is so ugly if you watch again if you watch my shorts you know that it's gonna end up looking nice and i'm so proud of myself with the finished work i looked at it and i was like no this is this is not right and i went to watch a bunch of videos on landscaping and all that type of stuff and i was like okay time to do some actual work and it took me like 12 hours all together including this and then the editing of it which i did not record because i was under so much pressure recording this and trying to make sure i wasn't wasting any time and i really don't know why like it doesn't make any sense i put myself under pressure not to waste any time and then i created something like not very nice at least on the outside so on the right side is the artsy generic generic artsy girl so i went for a purple and black she's like gothic but like in an artsy way if that makes sense and on the left is the generic geek yeah bb.move objects is on um the generic geek girls room so i went for like um geometric shapes and oranges and blues and yeah you can clearly see what i mean and i also created like a i don't know what to call it it's just a leisure yeah i like that wallpaper 
so i just created like a leisure room um where i would put the instruments and the paint and the easel and just random things that they can use to increase their skills so i tried to put like little things okay so the only thing i didn't do i used all the housing cheats so i have all these i had so many things to sort through which was like good so i could like put random things everywhere and like personalize them for each sim but it was kind of difficult because it was kind of overwhelming because like i said i had already put myself under pressure of oh you have to create this really really fast and it has to be really really nice because you're recording it so i yeah i gave myself a headache so i didn't know how to use those those bracket stuff i was trying to i couldn't remember how to do the size up i was honestly so confused and so i decided to get a llama and a chicken coop i don't know why it's just a new addition like to the game it's not that new cottage living is not that new but i haven't i haven't had it for that long so it's like new to me and so i wanted to incorporate it somehow so it's kind of like let's give some background story to it it's a country people right they had five daughters and their nurse which is an elderly lady um and their trusty dog and then their parents died and left them with the fortune so uh it's not really like a fortune fortune right because i'm not trying to make them like not work but i didn't i wasn't trying to do a, a struggle type of gameplay that oh we have to worry about rent we are eventually gonna have to worry about rent because this house is expensive and but like by then i would hope that they would be young adults um with the chicken coop and little things like the art pieces we'll be making money here and there but i don't know i think it can only be sustained if i mean when they are adults and they can bring proper income because i don't know what the old lady would do honestly i just feel like making her like a maid and she just like cleans up i mean because if you think of it story wise it makes sense so basically they're orphans is what i'm trying to say <laughs> that's, that's what i'm trying to say i could honestly have created parents for them like i'm just realizing it i could honestly have created parents for them that would have made for interesting gameplay actually that their parents lost all their money well not all their money they still have some money left and so they had to leave the countryside for whatever reason and they only had enough money to like build this house and get some chickens and a llama and um but like i didn't do that so there's no need to talk about it oh wait 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 another side to that story could have been that the parents obviously they're then jobless and they barely have any skills because you know they were rich and they barely learned anything and so they had to like start from the ground up while providing for five children and a dog as well as themselves as well as the bills that would have been interesting but i don't know why i don't know why i didn't i do that i i don't know so yeah this is what it came to and that little nudge was bothering me so much like i couldn't figure out how to get rid of it like it was literally driving me crazy <laughs> i thought reducing the house would help it really didn't man i struggled for this house that's all i can say i don't know what i was thinking like i don't know why i thought that would work because if i just reduce the size of the whole thing then i'm gonna have to adjust the roof and i was so perplexed to say the least i was so perplexed but okay i don't think the parlor is actually bad or the living room you can actually see the theme it's just the wallpaper that i'm still not like friends with and i made the grandma i mean the elderly woman's room like generic as well just sewing sewing stuff knitting stuff uh what's it called a rocking chair nothing i really did not personalize it at first because i didn't really care about her she was just there to she was just there because you can't just have kids you have to have can you i think not without cheats you have to have an adult or a young adult with the with the kids so i'm trying to do some landscaping yeah not really any good at that but i don't think it's terrible like if you take into into consideration the fact that i'm i'm a beginner then i don't think it's really terrible right what do you think like tell me what you think and i was playing with the landscaping tools because i again not something that i'm really familiar with i know that's been on far longer than the 
chickens or whatever it's not like a cottage living thing but i was never really like good with it i i just ignore i didn't really build houses to be very honest uh the lights in the swimming pool they're pretty wonky but like let me tell y'all that i was tired i was tired and then i tried to do some more landscaping with something that i saw in a, in a video but i probably wasn't doing it right and just imagine me having to click on this one by one bruh it was driving me insane and i think that's another reason like it messed up like the first draft of the house messed up because i was getting so frustrated with everything yeah at this point the the parlor is actually not bad I was getting so frustrated with everything and, I, and nothing was working out properly i was just like man this does not make any sense this doesn't make any sense like i like the the full windows and everything but like what is this mess this is a mess this is a whole mess it doesn't make any sense at all put some lights in there and so me creating something nicer like i'll just put it like that i think it's like a testament of just keep trying at something even if you're not good at it at the beginning you will eventually get better and i mean that's just like how life works you have to work at something to be good to be better at it some people are naturally good at stuff but even those people that are naturally good if they want to be better than good then they have to work at it so yeah as you can see oh my god look at those windows look at those windows as you can see this house is a mess it's a complete mess and i know a lot of people have complained about how the outside windows look like they never look right and that's what i used to like console myself yeah i tried to do some energy saving as well um that's what like i used to console myself i was like they're never gonna match you know they're always gonna it's always gonna look a mess it doesn't matter what you do it's always gonna look a mess which isn't true because there's some really really amazing builds and i created a nice-ish one another thing that i think i don't remember the sim i think it was little simsy she said something about layering so it doesn't just look like a box and man this looks like a box i i was done with the house that's why i was doing putting lot trays because i was i was completely done with it i was trying to find something that was like good for kids so that's why i put the internet and i put a teen hangout no i did teen hangout and homey and then i did not put any any challenges because i'm having enough challenge i'm having a challenge as it is with snow white uh yeah so this is this is this was the first draft it wasn't really the first draft that was what i was gonna play with and then i was like let me actually do it properly and so i did so the whole thing took me 12 hours right but the this part took me yeah so that's how i did it i used i found all the cheats and so i layered it i also layered those there are no three brown three pane is that what it's called for brown mirrors so i just layered a bunch of mirrors and then man i had so much fun redesigning the whole thing and i upsized that chicken sculpture and this tree when i saw it i was like that has to go over the pool and look at my landscaping guys look just look at my landscaping this isn't really a balcony like it is but there's no door if that makes sense I didn't really change much inside but like okay let me pause it for a second so because I wanted the outside of the house to look nice and also let the inside have proper windows I did a three layer thing but I shared those three windows between two rooms because one of the bathrooms doesn't actually need like two two windows it only needs one and then the other one needs a little more light so i shared it i don't know where i got the idea from but like i did it i thought about it and it worked and so that's what that is and i think i did pretty well overall and so this tv is actually behind it actually window paint i can't buy anything because like my money is at zero but behind it's actually not window paint it's actually um paintings i saw that in another video and so it looks like a frame and it matches the whole room 
and for the window for this bathroom i used stuff to cover the window because i wasn't having it it didn't look that great inside that's the the elderly woman's room i like spruced it up a bit i used a lot of bb to move objects on slash so many things just to move this stuff around and like just personalize the house slash the kitchen and everything i don't know why that's not moving that's that's really confusing i had to redo it and then it worked i'm like i was honestly i'm honestly so proud of myself and now with all the extra brown pieces the wallpaper doesn't look that out of place uh, I put that on like by the wind by the stairs I didn't really think it mattered but I did that I also remember that the pet person is the Barbie so I changed up the wallpaper spruced up both of the rooms gave them all expensive laptops which, which is why I don't have money <laughs> apart from like the popular girl but that was because she doesn't have a desk uh, but I might end up giving her one because I locked all the laptops for each owner and I don't think it's really fair like I don't dislike her so far so it's not really fair but I couldn't put it on this drawer I don't know what to call it but I couldn't put it there for whatever reason so nothing really like special about it put some extra stuff I love this picture I love it so much it's so nice uh, yeah as you can see I changed it to like a blue-ish theme I don't know why there was a window there but i wanted to block it so i put a painting spruce this room up as well don't know what's wrong with this journal okay there you go that i made that as well with two counters or two bedside tables so as you can see there's a gothic theme with this one also block that window with a painting and then block this one with some blinds i might end up making her a vampire i really don't know added some pumpkin carving I don't I don't know what that is I don't remember I added a piano added an easel added some pumpkin carving stuff it's when the season comes added a chart I don't really know what the chart is for but I've never used it before so I decided to as you can see I also shared that window over there and yeah that's basically what I did nothing too crazy I also did the landscaping outside yeah I, I did that I did that and I made it look like I made it match the houses around and so I'm, I'm really proud of myself and I just want to use this video to motivate other people to let them know that your sims house can look really nice mm -hmm. you just have to like spend hours doing it but at the end of the day it will be worth it bye <laughs>